Hello. So I recently made a game, and in that game, the first thing that will happen is that you will ride the car as a passenger along with other passengers. And this is how it went. <laughs> It wasn't good. The reason why we can see his insides is because I'm using event tick to constantly snap the camera position to the head bone of the static mesh. That's why sometimes we don't see his insides and sometimes we do because event tick is lagging behind and can't keep up. That method is the easiest I can come up with with the time constraint that I have back then. But now that I have spare time, I think I do it again on how to actually properly attach camera to a moving vehicle while the said vehicle is being driven by an AI or something else which means you're not in control and simply put just a passenger. So this is how you actually attach a passenger to a moving vehicle. So to prove that I'm not controlling this one. This is, this is PPS UV AI and this is the blueprint of that and as you can see the auto possess player is disabled it means that it runs by itself so I will show you what will happen now as the car moves the static mesh moves as well and the camera doesn't lag so this is how you actually do it so how to do this so this is an advanced tutorial, I will not show any importing the skeletal mesh or something like that. We're going to the specific of how to attach a passenger to a moving vehicle, such as this. So first off, let's remove the passenger old guy. I will also not show how to move a vehicle, I assume that you know that, just this is specific, this one. Now this one doesn't have any child actor. Now we will add it back again. So right click, blueprint class, and choose spawn. If you choose character, the physics of this will make the car uh, jump or explode in the air along with the character that you made. And if you choose the actor, you cannot attach a camera in the actor. I will, you can, but you cannot control it using the mouse control. Only the pawn you can choose. Because in pawn, you can use the camera controls and while well, you can use the camera controls it doesn't affect the physics of the moving vehicle so it will not kick you out of the vehicle so now that you made the passenger pawn let's name it passenger pawn After name it passenger pawn, add, add a skeletal mesh or anything you want. Skeletal mesh. Let's add the old guy again. Now back to the passenger pawn on skeletal mesh. Add the skeletal mesh you want. and use any animation assets you want preferably sitting because you want it to sit in the car now we need to parent this to the SUV or to the vehicle that you want it to ride on add a child actor component inside the vehicle that you want to ride 
and in child actor select the phone passenger that you made oh why there are so many let's name this one another passenger phone too passenger ponto and position it accordingly okay okay that's okay now we need to add the camera on the child actor, not inside the vehicle. Select the passenger phone again and add the camera component. And then parent this to, to the skeletal mesh. You can also not parent it, but it's per preferably that you parent it so that you won't see the mesh of the character. Or sometimes you don't see it. Sometimes you don't. Just in case. Parent it to the head. And now that you parent it to the head, adjust the position. If you parent it to the head, the motion of the head will affect the camera. So it, see, it would seem more realistic in a first person perspective. So let's pause the animation of the skeletal mesh. So that we can adjust the camera more precisely. Now to see if the camera is positioned properly, select the camera and you will see the preview. You can adjust this or you can adjust the child actor to move and it will update the preview there now once you're happy to the position we just need to add the code and on passenger 2 on the event graph we just need the passenger 2 to be auto possessed by player player 0 by default the first player is player 0 so that means if you have no other player phone or character inside the world your camera will automatically possess this character inside the vehicle so make sure you take note of that If we test this, we are already possessing this. But now, as you can see, I can't move the camera. So we need to select the camera. And on search details, control. And use control, check this. Use control and rotation. Once you check that, you cannot still move the camera because there is no axis for that on mouse controls so by the way you should have or you, you should do this on a third person example map or template so that you can have access for the third person codes like the axis rotation of the camera like this, this one. We only need this. Once you added that, we can now control, but we can turn on the opposite side of the head. So we don't want that. We need to limit the camera rotation. Right click camera manager camera manager
and how to limit that. So as you can see, we need to limit the yo, the left and right turn, and the pitch, the up and down. So li limit the yo and limit the pitch. Okay. So let's add a sequence. Set max yo and set minimum yo. And then set max roll, I uh, know not roll pitch, set minimum pitch, so left and right is the yo, so the maximum is the, the clockwise and the minimum yo is the counterclockwise. Again, the max yo is when you turn to the right and the minimum yo is when you turn to the left. And the max pitch is when you look up and the minimum pitch is when you look down. So let's make this negative 50. And by negative 50, it means negative 50 degrees. And we can make this maximum yo 80. Let's make this 90. No, 80 is good enough. And negative 80. This is turning, looking left and right. This is looking right. This is looking left. And this is looking up and this is looking down. Looking up should be 8 degrees and looking down is 50, negative 50 degrees so now our turning head is limited at this point this is already done but to prove that you will not get out of the car or you will not be kicked out of the car or the camera will not lag let's make the vehicle move so i already have a pre-made code to make the car move which is the event throttle up we just need to call this to call that here so key if we test this now and let make the vehicle move okay we are now riding the car and the camera doesn't lag and we can move freely without any glitch i wish i knew this before i made that game but that's that okay thank you